Welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report. I am here with head coach Richard Nuttall of Hofstra Men's Soccer. Uh, Hofstra closed the regular season with a 3-1 win at Elon two Saturdays ago, and now they're preparing for the CAA semifinals coming up this weekend. They will host the tournament and begin the weekend with a 7 p.m. game against William & Mary on Friday night. Coach, you want to talk a little bit first about that 3-1 win over Elon to close the season? Yeah, fantastic win against a very good team. I thought it was a battling win, you know, uh, our talent, you know, as we all know, we're very talented, but we had to battle on the night. It was just a great game of soccer and uh, end to end, two good teams going at it, wanting to win. I'm just so proud of how the game went and how we reacted, you know, we went 1-0 up and they tied it up and I'm just so happy with the reaction of the team after they tied it. They kept giving everything, battling. There were some players on there who hadn't played as much. I'm really proud of those guys, Hakan and John Fraser and, and, and a couple of other guys who did very, very well. So from that point of view, just the, the, the way that the, the mechanisms that we used, the, it was all about battling. And it, again, Chris Little at Elon's a, a wonderful coach. So just pleased, very pleased with the situation. That Elon team actually was upset by William & Mary this weekend in the quarterfinals, mm -hmm. um, and Charleston also upset UNCW in the quarterfinals. What do those results say about the parity of the league this year? I, I think, again, whoever finished 6th, 6th, 7th, 8th, so ninth can be anybody in the top, and I think it's a sign of the strength of the coaching in the conference and a sign of the players in, in the conference. The, any game that you play all year in the CA is always a battle and uh, for UNCW to lose to Charleston and, and uh, Elon to lose, lose to Wilma Mary, it just shows the competitiveness in this conference and it, nothing surprised me to be honest, I knew it, there would be tight games which there were and I knew that anybody could win and uh, kudos to the College of Charleston, kudos to Wilma and Mary. You know, we watch, obviously we watched the Will and Mary game and they were full value for the win. To be hosting the tournament again this season, what does that mean to the team and what will having the home crowd give to the team this weekend? Well, it gives you that little extra in terms of motivation, having friends and family around and uh, each, it's personal and uh, we love our environment, we're used to our surrounds, so hopefully it gives us a little 1% difference that will help us. But we, we've got to be real, we know Wilma and Mary are on a, a great run at the moment, the last six or seven games have been outstanding, we know they're very, very talented, well coached, and it's going to be on the day who performs and there's no guarantees, that it's just going to be in that 90 minutes who actually performs and who actually does the business, it's simple as that. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, you've seen William and Mary before, now at this point in the season where the team's kind of know each other a little bit yeah. better. How do you prepare the team for for that kind of situation where you have seen this team before in the season? Well, again, you're very familiar. and uh, Tactically, uh, you understand most of them, but uh, again, we're very well coached by Chris Norris. We expect different things and we hopefully can anticipate them, but uh, again, you never know. It's about on the day, the emotions, how, uh, how you get uh, how you prepare mentally, your work ethic, your intensity, and how you react to a pressure situation. These are pressure situations. We lose, we go home, and it's, that's why we play the game. We're excited to be in this in this battle, in this combat. And uh, again, <laughs> we're well, uh, very, very talented with some great older players. Bustamante in, in offensive mid, very good, and SK and I can go through the team, and they're just talented all over, so we've got to be at our very best, and even though it's at our very best, it's going to be uh, hopefully a thrilling game. With having a week off, uh, getting a bye into the semifinals, how do you keep the team motivated and from losing momentum yeah. through that week off? Yeah, I think you use the squad, it's good and bad, you get to rest, but then you've got to rely on the squad and hopefully have some competitive practices, which we have had, and hopefully, you know, we're going to continue to have today, tomorrow, or Wednesday, Thursday. You hope that we can keep in it and, and, and you know, repetition and, and uh, being intense in practice is just as important as it's been intense uh, in games. So from our point of view, it's all about the practice and it's all about keeping us mentally prepared and yet having a little bit of time to rest as well. 
And you talked a little bit about William and Mary as a team. What is it going to take from Hofstra to get to that championship game on Sunday? Yeah, there's the old cliche, it's going to be a game of chances. We've got to take our chances, you know, and, and we've got to uh, hopefully they don't take theirs and they, they're going to have chances. Hopefully we can limit them. Hopefully we can have more than they do and, and take a couple of them. In. But we know it, it's, it's going to be a fine line between success and failure. Again, Hofstra men's soccer takes on William & Mary at 7 p.m. in the CAA semifinals Friday night at Hofstra Soccer Stadium. He's head coach Richard Nuttall of Hofstra men's soccer, and this is the WB Mason Coaches Report. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thank you.